What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got some awesome duels for you guys to check out, including this ridiculous danger build that, um, man, this thing, when it goes off, it feels like your opponent is getting punished by a higher power. This is like the only thing in the game that might be just slim, just shy of uh, the Arcana Force of the World, where you skip your opponent's entire turn. This is essentially doing the same thing. It's kind of like twice as bad as Rongo. Rongo got banned because you couldn't really kill it. You couldn't summon. You couldn't set. They would just nuke your field this is essentially the same exact thing you can't summon you can't set monsters you can't activate traps or spells you cannot set spells or traps and then your traps and spells that are already on the field will all be negated i mean it's like cold wave but also like you can't summon set do anything you just die so <laughs> we'll see what the dinosaur player is going to do about this and honestly i don't know why you would ever play a deck where you main decking multiple kaijus and then go first that just screams i want to go second i mean unless you're going to summon like Saryuja and then summon maybe your Gamma Seal from uh, Saryuja's effect and have you know the waterfront like it just doesn't make any sense because he would have had the um he would have been perfectly fine with impermanence because usually these danger decks that play um what's that card the beginning of the end they are really really susceptible to having their um their Saryuja hit with like effect failure or impermanence and he might have been fine here especially considering his opponent is going to make well he did make outer entity as a thought so impermanence would have actually not cared at all about as a thought so you know he would have been still perfectly fine then he could have like kaiju him he could have used impermanence here and he'd have been fine but that didn't happen and he's gonna to go for beginning of the end you guys know these type of decks and this is the card uh, that just got set judgment of the pharaoh that is going to do the work now it's not an easy card to use because you have to have unity or yujo friendship in your graveyard <laughs> i still love yujo friendship because it forces you <laughs> to shake hands with your opponent <laughs> i believe if they have unity on the uh, in their hand that, that card is just awesome any card that requires physical interaction between players is just awesome <laughs> My opinion shake your opponent's hand they must shake your hand if you have unity so at this point he gets that copy of Unity and Yujo Friendship, and he just wants to get them in the graveyard. Obviously, Danger Monsters can do that. This battle phase is completely irrelevant, so don't worry about, like, oh, Cap, why did he try to go for game here? This battle phase doesn't matter, guys. It's all about the following turn, and it's about really how much Yu-Gi-Oh! the opponent doesn't get to play. He needs to get the Unity in the graveyard, which he has successfully done. So even though his field is going to look pretty damn janky, it's fine. He was looking for a second copy of the uh, Judgment of the Pharaoh, and now his opponent is not going to be able to do anything so during draw phase he activates one judgment of the pharaoh second judgment of the pharaoh and the thing is this does require you to pay half your life points but again this is just ridiculous so you pay half your life points then you select and activate the appropriate effect. If Yujo Friendship is in the graveyard until the end of this turn, your opponent cannot normal summon, uh, set, flip summon, or special summon a monster or monsters, or activate monster effects. I forgot about that. <laughs> they can't use monster effects either. And if, and if you have Unity in the graveyard, then you can activate the second copy, and then you can make it so that until the end of the turn, you negate the effects of all spells and traps that are on your opponent's side of the field, and they can't activate spells and traps or set spells and traps. So, I mean, if you can't summon set use monster effects spells traps are just offline and you can't set those cards or use face up ones on the field what exactly are you left with in Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> like i can't think of anything else that you could do in that turn <laughs> other than just rage quit so his opponent can't do any this is as good as skipping your opponent's turn seriously his opponent can't do anything so he just says i am effing out of here cap g i'm donezo and he ends up losing the duel next duel is super duper 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 low tier for life and uh i have to call this low tier for life even though spiral is a good deck and it won a regional i think like just last week i mean it's not anything to do with the breakthrough skill i still like breakthrough skills a card i think um lost one might be a little better but when you're only playing three copies of double helix as the uh this is your entire extra deck like i gotta immediately question your uh your deck building skills anyways it's facing off against shs super heavy samurai i think um I think Spirals are going first, if I'm not mistaken. So he's going to try to summon the uh, the uh, Super Agent, which, I mean, it's fine. He doesn't really get anything out of it because his opponent doesn't have any cards on the field. He is going to go for the Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow. Breakthrough skill is going to be used. If he gets the Flutus in the graveyard, he can start negating these breakthrough skills and these uh, Spiral Wires and stuff like that. I mean, he is just going to kind of end on the Scarecrow, and he did get Flutus in the graveyard, so at least he does have that. He gets another copy of Utility Wire. How many 
traps is this guy running this deck breakthrough skill is going to be negated he's going to attack and then he's going to set one and then just pass really not like a combo orient uh or a combo oriented spiral deck i guess <laughs> he's just kind of playing a ghost a, a very like go slow you know a spiral version he did use a second copy of the utility wire so at least he's doing a good job of keeping scarecrow off the field but it's a link one so your opponent can always get it on the field and big ben kai was laying the smack down it almost one shot him but uh, he was able to do something good also why is he running the uh charming resort staff if this would have been any other spiral card he could have easily gone into double helix and then maybe tried to pop off from there even a scuff spiral version like this it's still spiral it can still obviously do some things although i kind of wonder when you summon your um your master plan where do you go from there if you can't like link her off the field so that's just kind of interesting anyways i do not believe that he will live to see another turn he's going to attack into the charming resort staff and uh why did they ever make any spiral support cards that don't have spiral in their name seriously that, that made no sense man it's like spy gal misty these cards are like honestly meme worthy but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed those duels if you did get a video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos